What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from LazyTechGuys.com and I know it's a little late in the year to be reviewing this, but I thought, hey, what the hell, let's go ahead and check this out. This is the Soul Pro Helios Smart. This is a battery charger that actually charges two devices simultaneously and what's really cool about it is that it's solar powered. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so how many times have you been in the situation where you need to charge your device and you've got a USB cable, but you don't have one of these? Or you've got one of these, plug into the wall, but you don't have a wall. There, there's been a couple of times in my situation and there's obviously some options out there. There's external batteries that you can buy. There's really thin ones that are you know, very slim line and fits in little clutch purses and things like that. But what if you needed a battery that would not just last you a day, but a battery that could charge your, your phone maybe for the next few days? So that's where this Helios device comes into play. This is from a Soul Pro. What's really nice about it is that, first off, it feels very premium. And I don't say that about batteries too often, but the outside covering has, I don't know if it's actual leather, but it has a leather kind of feel to it. So it's very exquisite. And this is the red one. And on the top side here, you've got your uh, battery meter as well as your on and off switch. Um, on this back side here, you can see you've got two U USB ports so you can plug in two devices simultaneously. But then the way that you actually charge this, there's two methods that you can do. You can either plug it in via USB so you can charge it via your computer, or I guess via the wall, and it actually comes with the wall adapter for that. Or you can use the power of the sun and get all of those little sun rays into these three little sun uh, solar panels, if you will. So I'm not going to go into how solar works. I think you guys all get a, a somewhat of a gist of how it works, but it basically stores the energy that is, that is uh, collecting from the sun. And with this 5,000 milliamp battery, it'll give you extra boost. Again, not just throughout the day, but hopefully with over the next day or so, maybe even two or three days. So let's go ahead and check it out of how exactly it works, how quickly it charges it, and maybe even how quickly it charges two devices at the same time. So just taking a look at the device, um, it feels, again, very firm in the hand. It's a little heavy, but again, we're looking at a 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, it's not too big. It's definitely bigger than your, uh, your average phone. It's a little wide but if you have an extra pocket in your purse or bag or what have you, this definitely is pocket size in that regard. Uh, I guess you could put even in your back pocket. But again, it, it does have this fake kind of leather and it might even be real leather, but I can't find that out from them at this moment. The really nice thing about it too is aside from the whole solar charging aspect, underneath the small port here is the, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the USB in. So it comes with the micro USB to charge it via your computer or via the wall. So at least you can charge it that way. And then next to it, you have two USBs. So one on the left is a five volt and one amp. And the one on the right is five volt and 2.1 amps. The 2.1 amp one is that uh, USB connection that you would want to plug in like an iPad or um, an Android tablet or something to that effect. Something that might need a little bit more charge. And these solar powers on the inside here, so you've got three of them. These are actually high efficiency monocrystalline. So um, I'm not a solar panel expert. I don't know one, uh, you know, one next to the other. I'm not sure if this is the best material for solar panel, but um, this is, you know, it has a trifold, so it's going to get the maximum amount of power that it can with this small form factor. Okay, so what I did to test out the Helio Smart was I first fully charged it so all four LEDs on the side were lit in blue. Then I took my LG G4, which is right here, thank you, and this was completely dead. It was beyond, well, it was, it was dead. And this has a 3000 milliamp battery. So 3000 milliamp, 5000 milliamp. So I knew that this was gonna charge this with no problem. And within about two and a half hours, this was completely charged. But then on the flip side, this was completely dead. 
Now, if you do the math, 5,000, 3,000. There should be at least 2,000 amps left over. And I know that's not really how it works, but here's the thing. This is a pretty huge stinking battery, and I know there's other components in here for the solar power and for the other, you know, USBs and things like that, but I was kind of hoping that maybe, just maybe, I would not only get one full charge out of this for my phone, but maybe another half charge, or at least another just little top off, if you will. And the fact is, I'm back to square one after charging my phone once. Now, the nice thing with this is I don't have to go and run and look for a wall charger or, you know, my computer or something like that. I mean, really, as long as it's a nice day like it's been out recently, I can just open it up, go outside, enjoy the, enjoy the weather, and charge my phone. Because these three panels are going to charge the phone. And I did a test of how fast it charges the phone. And I did that with my Nokia Lumia 830. It's upside down. This one. I also use the solar panel to charge the LG G4, but I want to go back to this phone, which has a smaller amperage, to uh, just kind of test out the quickness of the charge. Anyways, so I did that, and my battery was at about 15% when I first started out. And then after about 30 minutes, it jumped up to, it was it 57%? No, it was about 60%. So not a huge jump. Enough for me to get through the rest of the day, you know, minus the, you know, maybe using it for GPS or something like that. But if I'm just walking around, not really using a lot of apps, 60% for at least another three to four hours should set me straight pretty well. So using it in solar power mode, um, it didn't do any kind of quick charge or anything like that. And that's kind of a, not a downer. But it's just, it's just the thing. These days, we're getting phones like the G4 that have quick charge capability, especially thanks to the likes of Qualcomm and their Snapdragon uh, processor. But even without that, two and a half hours to fully charge the phone, directly connected, not using solar, and an extra 45% boost in about 30 minutes, give or take, that's not bad. That's not the worst in the world. I've seen other solar chargers that are out there, and the whole thing with that is... You know, those uh, methods of their uh, charging, it was just one solar panel, and it was ni nice and small, but with just one solar panel, it took a few hours to even get up to 50%. So, at least for the solar charging aspect, I'm really, really happy using it just on its internal 5,000 milliamperage to charge one phone that's 3,000 milliamps, and it goes dead. Not so happy about that. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is a complete buy. I would at least say maybe give it a try and don't throw away the receipt. But that's at least me. If you live in a situation like right now, the weather is great, this might be a really good solution for you, especially if you're on the go, not so much by walls and in cars and uh, have the ability to plug your device in. And again, this isn't just for phones and tablets. This could even be for maybe your point-and-shoot camera. Um, but if you live in another area of the country or the world, say my old city of London, then it's not always sunny, let's be honest. And uh, it, this could work even without direct sunlight because there's obviously UV rays coming down even through the clouds, but it just won't charge as fast. Definitely give it a shot in regards to checking out their website. And if you do happen upon it in a store, buy it if you really feel that you need a good mobile battery charger, but like I mentioned, don't rely on it so much to charge multiple times in a day without having to recharge this throughout the day as well too, or at least use the power of the sun. That's it for me right now. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like this video, subscribe to this whole channel, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late. Mm -hmm.